For special request, today we're making green pozole. First, we're gonna heat up 10 cups of water over high heat, add half an onion, an entire head of garlic, and two bay leaves. Rinse three pounds of nixtamal, add it to the stock pot, and boil for about one hour. If you're using canned hominy, skip this step and boil the chicken first. To prepare the sauce, roast two poblano peppers, six tomatillos, and to add a little spice, I'm gonna add about four to five serrano peppers, but those are completely optional. Remove them once they're nice and blistered, and once they're cool enough to handle, peel them and clean them. The nixtamal has been boiling for about an hour and a half. I did end up adding a little bit more water, and to add more flavor to the broth, I'm gonna add five to six bone-in chicken thighs. Cover and boil for an additional 30 minutes. Remove the chicken thighs along with the onion and the garlic. Once the chicken is cool enough to handle, shred the chicken and set it aside. To prepare the sauce, add a handful of cilantro to the blender, the serrano, poblano peppers, and the tomatillos, the onion we pulled from the pot. For seasonings, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, two to three tablespoons of chicken bouillon, and two cups of water to help blend the ingredients. And lastly, we're gonna squeeze in the garlic that we pulled from the pot and blend until it's nice and smooth. By this time, the next tamal has been boiling for a little bit over an hour and a half. Now we're gonna pour in the sauce and an additional two cups of water or chicken broth if needed. Give it a light mix, then add in the shredded chicken. Mix in the chicken, and once it reaches a light simmer, cover and simmer for an additional 30 to 45 minutes, or until the nixtamal is nice and tender. If you're using canned hominy, the cooking time is going to be a lot less. But if you can find nixtamal in your local grocery store, use that instead, because it gives your pozole a much richer and authentic flavor. Enjoy with your favorite tostadas, chips, taquitos, and your favorite toppings. In this case, we're going to top it off with cabbage, red onion, radishes, and drizzle with a little bit of lime juice to enhance the flavors of all these delicious ingredients. And enjoy!